Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great and uh, this is Dr. Padharia from DressMD uh, USMLE Tutoring and um, I am an ECFMD certified, I did my MD in Pathology and lot of students have many inquiries that how to start preparing for this exam, what are the resources one should use, when should they start preparing for this exam, you know, so a lot of questions that is why I thought that to make a short video let's say a uh, student start preparing for this exam they can start uh, third year of medical school is the good time to prepare however they can prepare even after post md after they have done their master degree uh, so there is no age limit for this exam unless you are determined you are dedicated that yes i am ready for this exam okay so for step one the duration of preparation for international medical graduates will be ideally six to eight months again that is very important if you are very much dedicated if you are persistent if there is no break in the preparation at least you should study six days a week and then six to eight months is the ideal time okay and the resources are for us for students who come to me for the tutoring I do not advise a lot of resources, very limited resources for whoever is interested can join my demo and I can give you the uh, resource and all the details how the classes are held, all those information I can give it in the demo session. But this video is basically the duration and how to uh, apply and all those things. Okay, So first step one, the subject should be like the fundamental should be very, very crystal clear guys and subjects like pathology, immunology, microbiology, pharmacology and the all systemic subjects like cardio, endo, respiratory, renal, reproductive, all those subjects, okay. So first step to CK, it is a clinical based exam and uh, basically if your concepts are very good from step one, then you can write step two CK in four months. My students who take my step one course um, they write their exam step to ck in two and a half months because the the concept of uh, basic concepts are very clear from the class okay then after you write step one and step two and then you can go ahead and write uh, occupation english test i would suggest that one month is enough for this exam and once you clear step one step two ck and occupational english test guys so then you become ECA from this certified all right, that means the ECFMG is giving a certificate saying that you have cleared step one, step two, and up, and step one, step two exam. Okay, so total duration of you can say like eight months and six months, uh, like and then one month of occupational English test that will be 15 months, no break in the preparation. Okay, you are persistent as I already said. So after you become ECFMG certified, and uh, then uh, most of the students they they write step 3 during residency but i would suggest that in residence let's say that you become ECFMG certified and then uh, you get into uh, you apply for residency right and you get into a residency in particular subject but you haven't cleared step 3 already you have so much in in your plate during residency and then preparing for step 3 exam will be like too much on your uh, this thing right too much in your plate and that will be uh, I think it's a better uh, that you should clear this exam before you get into residency. Yeah, that is why I've written better clear before residency. So the duration of preparation for step three will be for six months, right? And then uh, for how many questions you uh, you have in the step one uh, actual exam will be like there will be seven blocks. One block is forty questions, guys, and one hour you get break. That all you can log, you can log into. Uh, www.ecfmg.org and you know all the information there first step to ck it's a, a it's a nine hour exam and the block is eight blocks and one block is 40 questions for step two step to step three it is a two day exam okay so all right so and then after you become ecfmg certified that means clearing step one step two and of course you have cleared the ECA occupational language test then you become ECFMG certified and then you can go to UIS with the, and have either you have some research research you can do some research or you can work as an observer or extensive whatever you want to do and then you get a clinical in United States clinical experience and then with that experience you at least need three letters of recommendation all right 
three letters of recommendation with ECFMG certification by 2024 September one should have the score of as I already tell the, told you that step one step two and st or occupational English test and step three if you have a step three score well and good and with three letters of recommendation you are ready to apply uh, residency because in when you are applying for residency let's say you are ready for 2024 20, September uh, then you should have um, three letters of recommendation as I told you and then ECFMG certification and step three or score if you have that is there is more chance that you get into residency along with these letters of recommendation so uh, by 2024 September when you apply uh, for this exam uh, you, you have to buy a ERAS token ERAS token opens uh, by September okay mid September I guess not very clear about the date and after you buy the ERAS token you apply for residency and um, all right and then residency application is uh, another thing guys you have to fill up all the criteria and stuff like that and um, and then after you fill up the form all right and then you apply and then you start getting the interviews somewhere like october november december these three months let's say you got interviews let's say 15 20 and then there is an rmp match then you get interview then you get selected and then you start doing residency by 2025 20, june okay i cannot tell exact the date here so my only point is guys if you are very sincerely preparing for this exam do this exam is three step exam with occupational english test where you have to have three letters of recommendation so if you think that okay i will think i will plan then it is not going to work lot of the students they come to me when they they already wasted one and two years of watching uh, i don't know what they are studying so many resources you do not need so many resources you have to have a planning is very important organizing planning what are the resources you should use are you understanding the basic concept okay and then uh, with that concept in the mind are you with that knowledge are you able to uh, pick the correct answer in the multiple choice question or the vignette you are doing okay so guys if you really have a uh, like a burning desire to get residency in us then please join my demo sessions and uh, i'll be putting my uh, whatsapp number on the in the box description and with that whatsapp number you can book your demo session and plan your preparation come and join my step one and step two ck i have classes for both step one and step two ck you can even talk to my students how these classes are helping and how they are clearing the exam in short period of time so my my classes not only it is going to help you to plan for your assembly you will learn all the first aid concepts very very beautifully how to answer a vignette how to pick the correct answer all right and and also with less resources and less amount of less amount of, i mean the less cost of the codes you can clear this exam okay so think about it and i'm here to help you and any doubt if you have you are most welcome to ask okay thank you very much guys i hope this video helped you and if you still have any query let me know thank you very much and you have a great day